details on having better work stories and now more of our police force will be able to tell those stories in another language. Auckland officers are taking Mandarin classes to better engage with the city's growing Chinese population. Jenny Saw reports. When they're not busy throwing the book, they're hitting the books. So that Xiang Bu Xiang is the same as Hao Bu Hao. On Thursdays, these police staff take time from their busy schedules for a two hour Mandarin lesson. I wouldn't have taken the class if I thought it was going to get this complicated. <laughs> the classes began to help officers better communicate with Auckland's growing Chinese population. When you meet someone of, from your own uh, people who can speak that lingo, you blend together quite easily. And I think that was the first step that will help our police officers to do well. Here in New Zealand they might actually be afraid of police, so if we're able to even just introduce ourselves in Mandarin, um, I think that will absolutely break those walls, walls down. This morning I was at the Chinese Society and I'm like, may your went to eat? And he's asking me questions and it's like, do you have any more questions? So he's got quite surprised. They're also learning about Chinese culture, including lucky numbers and etiquette during home visits. And they're just so generous in their praise that, that we are um, uh, trying to connect. Uh, and I think this is a way that's um, proving uh, to be really valuable and really, really worthwhile. The keen students have been practicing their Mandarin at community events and even at their local fruit shop. They're also learning some essentials for the office. Uh, something that transcends all cultures. So Xu Chao, Yi Tai, Xin Wen. Artists young.